Um, I should have done that on Barry, that would have been really funny. But uh, we have the, the pimped version of my alto here. For those of you who watch my videos a lot, hi, I'm Ches. For those of you who don't, nice to meet you, virtual handshake. Um, yes, this is my, my pimped, when I'm working with DJs, get up. And we have the strap that matches. My videographer is looking horrified. Yes, this is a demonted neck joint. I'm slightly horrified myself. It's a thing, it exists. Um, so yeah, <laughs> nice for you guys to, to, to see that part of my life. <laughs> and that was the symptoms, obviously. I just thought it was about time I did another beginner video. Um, I tend to neglect you guys. I get a bit obsessed with all my housey stuff. So, um, yeah, easy one, Simpsons. It goes something like this. C, E, F sharp, A, G, E, C, A. F sharp, F sharp, da, 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 da. Yeah. Uh, do, do, do. Three F sharps, G. And then, do, 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 do. Next section. Three F sharps, do, do, do. G, B flat. C, 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 and that's it. And if you're a beginner, you might need help for where the octave key goes on and when it doesn't, so I'll just go through that in slow motion. Uh, C, no octave key. E with the octave. C, E, F sharp with the octave. A with the octave. G with the octave. E with the octave. C, no octave. <laughs> And A, three F sharps, these are all no octave, G. Three F sharps, G, B flat, C, 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 C. So all of that last section didn't have octave key. So I hope that was helpful. Another little quick one for you, for those beginners. Um, keep it up. I know it's a really difficult instrument in the beginner stages. Once you hit kind of your grade five-ish level, your sort of intermediate, all of a sudden the whole kind of vibe with learning just lifts and you feel enlightened and you can play most things. So push on through, through those beginner stages. Just enjoy being at the place you're at. I think that was something I really had to learn and it's when I kind of hit my like late twenties that finally I was sort of okay with not being the best in London, you know? And I think especially as a female player, you get a lot of stick, a lot of um, incredible jazz male saxophonists sort of looking down their nose at you a little bit. And do you know what? I, I, I'm fine, I'm happy with how I can play and I make my living out of it and I have a lovely home which I bought via my living playing the saxophone and I get to travel all the time. And I think no matter what stage you're at at your learning, um, hello beginners, just enjoy where you're at and be happy with who you are and where you're at. And that's my bohemian little speech done. Um, please subscribe if you haven't done already, because um, I do have lots more coming. I know I don't put enough for the beginners on, I will make an effort to put more up. And um, give it a thumbs up if you thought it was good for you and useful and a nice little quick tune to learn and show your friends. And yeah, hopefully see you in the next tutorial. Meanwhile, do keep an eye on me on Twitter and Instagram and all those social media networks and I will be posting about my playing and gigging there. So, ta-ta for now. Bye guys.